my channel if you're new here. My name is Kelsey. Today it felt like a day to do a haul, but it's a spring haul, so I'm really excited. I say this every season and I say this every time I talk about the season. Every season is my favorite season, but I always say that spring is my favorite season. So I'm really excited because this is a spring haul. I've been doing so much spring shopping. It feels like spring, like I have my window open right now, even though there is snow on the ground. Um, it's getting warmer. It's in like the 50s. So yeah, it's kind of like a collective haul. I have both home stuff and fashion stuff and I've just been doing a lot of vintage shopping. I also ordered some pieces off Poshmark. I also went to H&M and I was like, you know what, just feels time to do a haul. So we're going to do that. I am going to start with the vintage stuff because I feel like that's, it's the coolest. Vintage, Poshmark, then H&M. I think that's the order I'm going to follow. Okay, so first I want to start off with the most springy piece. It's a color, I know. I want to start off with the most springy piece that I got. So I always get more like adventurous with my fashion in the spring and summer color wise. Um, it's the only time that I will make an exception for color and even still they're like these dusty colors like they're not even bold or bright at all. But this has been a really trendy color right now is this very like sagey matcha dusty green and I love this early 2000s style to this dress. The fit looked gorgeous. It is a little bit um, big. It's not my size so I plan on altering it and it's got just like this little Little flowers on it. I don't know. It was very spring vibe. I really liked it. I thought that this would be really cute if I just take in the waist a little bit, cinch it at the waist. I don't know. Very weird, but I feel like all of my fashion inspiration right now, I know Y2K is really big, but the Y2K I'm looking at is very different than the Y2K that's popular. Everybody's going for that very like pop diva, very like colorful, low waisted Britney Spears look. I feel like I'm going for that like early 2000s rom com mom. Maybe I'll show pictures on the screen because I feel like that needs to be <laughs> exampled a little better. But this dress gave me that sort of style, so I got this. The next thing I got, this is such, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This is such a gorgeous sweater. So it doesn't even have a tag or like any brand on it at all. I think this is actually like a hand knit sweater. So it's this gorgeous light gray color. It comes with a little braided knit belt to like cinch it at the waist. Look at these sleeves. Look how adorable like the little hemline of this is. This is so pretty, it's so thick and soft, and this is just gonna be really cute, even during the summer, like I love open sweaters like this that I can just throw on with like shorts and like have my bathing suit underneath, just for like at the beach when it gets chilly, like I love open sweaters for that purpose. I got a pair of loafers. Loafers are really trendy right now, I've talked about this in a trend alert, um, but the loafers that I have, I didn't like, and I knew I needed another pair. So as you can see, these are like hard leather. And the ones that I have are soft leather. Like I just didn't like the shape and how they weren't holding up. And so I knew I wanted to get a pair of hard leather loafers. Yeah, I got these for $7. I swear, please go thrifting. It's so, it's so great. This, it's like a little twin moment with what I'm wearing. I love light gray. I've talked about that in a video too. I don't know why I've been really drawn to light gray. Even though I wear all neutrals, I never used to wear gray before and now I'm just gray like all the time it's like my favorite color to wear right now so i have this v-neck gray sweater it's from the gap it's super like feels like really expensive sweater um it feels like cashmere even though it's i don't think it is at all and i just thought that this would be really nice in the springtime to just tuck into some like levi's mom jeans and just like a casual sort of cute sweater if i am not in the mood to wear like a turtleneck or something like too suffocating and hot when it gets warmer this sweater Oh my gosh, this is a killer sweater. I can't believe I thrifted this sweater. This thing is so thick. Um, it's so heavy. And that's how you know it's a quality sweater when like your arms hurt holding it up. Like it's a heavy, thick sweater. Um, I have way too many white sweaters. If you've watched my videos, you know that. I have way too many white sweaters. But this is the ultimate white sweater. I, I love it. Then I've got, this is an interesting find. This was really cool. So I found this like booth in an antique store that had all of this like old like century time clothing, like little petticoats and like bonnets and it had like all the old timey stuff, even like with the layering, like how they used to dress back in the day. And I found this like under top, but I thought that this would actually be really cute in the summer. So it's this little tank top and it cinches, it ties at the top and the bottom. So it's like actually open like in the middle which is weird um and it has all this really pretty little detailing of flowers on it i thought this would be the cutest like vintage bathing suit cover-up to like have your like white bathing suit on underneath and then just like throw this little top on with like some denim shorts 
I thought this would be an adorable cover-up. So I bought it for that purpose. It could be a nightshirt as well. I think that's what it's like originally intended to be is like an under or nightshirt. But you can use this either or. I thought this would just be really, really pretty. I have this like fabric-y t-shirt. I think I haven't talked about this as a trend, but I think I might like end up putting it in my spring trend alert. I have a couple more over there as an example from H&M that you'll see. But basically t-shirts that aren't like your typical just like cotton t-shirt. Like really well tailored and more expensive fabric t-shirts. That doesn't mean an expensive t-shirt because the H&M ones were like 12 bucks, but I just mean don't, not your basic cotton t-shirt. Like really nice fabrics. This one feels like cashmere. Again, it's not cashmere at all. Or anything, just like even knit t-shirts. I have a knit t-shirt that I got last year, which I loved and I wore all the time. And I think that these are just gonna become really popular. I really, really like them. And so I got this one. Okay, so I've also gotten Another maxi skirt. I love maxi skirts, especially like drop waist ones. I like the high waisted ones too, but again, for that very early 2000s inspired. I've gotten this one, which is a dark gray, which I think is really different from all of my skirts because I don't have any and it's plain, which I like because I tend to have a lot of like printed ones or ones with like really interesting fabrics, like either it's a silky one or it's got this like see through gauze over the top. So I was like, you know, what? I just need like a plain maxi skirt. Look, like the cashmere like white top with the maxi skirt and like the such a preppy vibe. Definitely it's got that sort of like light academia style, which is not what I'm going for, but like the pieces all tend to tie together like that. Okay, let me show you my Poshmark stuff. I got this Chanel dress. You have heard me correctly. Chanel. Look at that. Oh my gosh, just the sight of that is, oh, it's so pretty. Wait, we're gonna look at it again, ready? Oof, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, which is, oh, I, lost my words there <laughs> you can see beautiful so cute it's strapless it's very stretchy and it's got a thin material so this will be perfect for the summer um of course i could dress this up and wear this as a little cocktail dress to dinner with some heels make it really fancy but i feel like what i like about this dress so much is i could totally wear this casually like if i'm going to the beach throwing this over a bikini with some little white ked sneakers and like my little tote bag my straw bag and this could totally be a casual day dress as well. So that's what I really liked about this. I thought it was gonna be versatile. It's very sleek and very simplistic. I can style it a million different ways. Then I got this Prada top. Dude, literally this was $40. Prada top, are you kidding? $40, that's like Zara. But I've got Prada. So I've got this little like lacy, very gorgeous tank top, which will be super cute for the summer again. I feel like I've been saying this a lot. I could also use it as a cover up for bathing suits. I just like all the little details of the stripes, the little lacing, and up here, and the bust part is the only part that's opaque. As you can see under here, it's like a little bit see through y, um, which I think is really fun. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I can't like <laughs> keep this stuff near me because I don't have any tables and like I can't put it on the bed because you'd see it. So I have it all the way over there on my lounge chair. But anyways, my H&M stuff, this is what I was talking about with the fabric t-shirts. So they have these like cashmere-like t-shirts at H&M and they have very pretty collars, they have like mid-length sleeves and I love them. I got them in each three of the colors that I wear, but they have more color options. I just got all the neutrals, so I got it in black, I got it in light gray, and then I also got it in white. And they also have it in this very pretty pinstripe, but I decided to get the turtleneck version instead. So these were all kind of in their like basic section. And then I also, on sale, eight bucks, I found these dress pants. Now I already have dress pants pretty similar to this in a similar color, but they don't fit me right. And I'm always having to like alter them, like pin it in the back or wear a belt. So I was like, you know what? It's just time to get a new pair that actually fit. So I got these from H&M, just like simple dress pant. And these have like very linen, fabric to them so again very like light and breathable i can still wear these in the spring with a cute little like short sleeve top so that's all i got from h&m now on to home stuff i'm gonna start with my books i'm so excited about this i love vintage magazines but they're very very hard to come across they're very hard to thrift i have never this is my first time ever thrifting them in my life because they're that hard to find but i found two vintage harper's bazaars so the first one is from 1968 this is a november issue are you kidding look at that and this one's also a november this is from 1972 and it's got barbara streisand on the cover this is so cute. My other favorite book that I've been getting obsessed with is like old Martha Stewart books. Basically, I really love, like I was talking about the early 2000s fashion, I also am sort of seeing coming in trend. Well, actually, lie, not coming in trend. I'm just liking it. Um, the early 2000s home decor. 
So, which is something I will talk about the next thing that I bought in a minute. So I've been loving her early 2000s books. I honestly like them a lot more than I do like her current like books. So anything having to do with like party planning, dinner parties, even though I've literally never thrown a dinner party in my life, I would love to. Gardening books, cookbooks, home decor organization, all of that. So this one is like a special occasions book. So it's a recipe book for like different holidays, which I think is really cool. And then this one's Martha Stewart Living on Weddings. So it's like basically all the different elements of weddings and like her advice on it, whether it's like the floral arrangements, the cake, the seating, all of down to like how to make your own invitation. I think this stuff is really fun. I really like to look through them and I love this style back then. It was so pretty. Okay, so this I did not get at an antique store. This is from Home Goods. I've been looking for one of these for so long and I like that it's a mixture of the gold and the silver. I think that that's really pretty. I've been looking for one of these three tiered like stands for the longest time and I finally found one at a Home Goods. Basically the reason I wanted one of these is because of the quarantine. Even though where I live, like dining is open, we only have three tea rooms in our whole area and they're all still closed. And I've been dying to just have a high tea moment. To have little finger sandwiches and little scones with little tiny desserts. Like I love having high tea. I really miss going to tea rooms. So if once I do one, you guys will probably end up seeing it on my Instagram. So I'm very excited about this. Let's just set that right there. <laughs> I don't have a place to put it. So basically the one trend I was talking about that I did pick up from a Martha Stewart home design book was I've been loving antique really intricate silverware this is what i'm talking about and it kind of matches with my tea stand so i'm really excited about that basically what really inspired me to go full out and get this because i'd always seen it and thought it was cute i recently went to la mercerie which is an amazing french restaurant in soho and they have this like these very like intricate silverware and this was the i think i don't know i'll put it on the screen of like the pictures and video that i took so that i could remember to buy it so this is the first piece that i got um it's like a little tea kettle and I was like it's so small this is like one cup of tea and then I noticed on the tag that it's actually four piece set and it came with this whole thing like the tray and these two and I was like these are so small it's a kid's set but I bought it anyways because it's so adorable and it's not like I like I said I don't really have dinner parties or anything so it's not like I'm gonna be serving tons of people so this will just be fun I literally bought a kid's tea set. I'm insane, I'm so sorry. I got another tray as well. This one I had bought before that one. I got in this square one, which I think is just really gonna be really cute to put like little hors d'oeuvres on or maybe like just all your bread, your crostinis, something cute like that to like serve. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I've gotten this dish, which is so gorgeous. I love how intricate and like the shape is so pretty. Imagine little olives in this or even like little macarons or something. So, so pretty, I love this. So pretty. I've gotten two pieces of silverware. I haven't bought an actual silverware set yet. I want to get one, um, but I haven't found one I've liked. So I've got, just for flat lays and pictures, I've got, they were like $2 each, this little butter knife, which is like, again, super intricate, really pretty. And then I've gotten a little teaspoon just for like the tea. It'll be adorable. I love tea time and I've been dying to have tea time at home. So I'm going to finally do that. So that is, yeah, that is it. That is it for my haul for my little bit of everything haul, a thrifting haul, an antiquing home haul, an H&M mini haul, and then I also Poshmark some stuff. And yeah, if you guys enjoy hauls, please let me know because I, I think they're fun. And yeah, if you enjoyed this haul, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for anything more lifestyle and fashion as well. And make sure to check out my Instagram. Like I said, you'll probably be seeing me styling all of these pieces on here as well as you will get to see my tea time. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.